at this point in the season, yeah, the Falcons are still kind of alive for the playoffs, but like, do, do we really feel like this is a playoff team? No. So even if they somehow manage to like sneak in the back door, the questions about Arthur Smith and the future of this organization will remain. So where do you stand on that topic and, and Arthur Smith and whether or not he deserves to be here for, you know, another season? I'll continue to be a man on an island here. He absolutely deserves to be here for another year. Firing him would be an absolute mistake by this franchise and hitting a reset button. Look, I mean, I, I don't like how Falcons fans have moved the goalposts on this season, right? Will, we thought this team was going to be somewhere between an 8 and 10 win team all season long. We thought that in August. We thought that in September, right? I don't know when it moved to them automatically have to make the playoffs this year in order for it to be considered successful and have to have 10 wins. But that was never the reality. And walking into this season, if you objectively knew anything, you knew that going with Desmond Ritter was going to be a complete crapshoot because four games was not enough to tell you anything. We knew all those things. Now, the idea that because the NFC South is so bad that the Falcons should have been better is flawed logic, right? Because every other car in the race turned out to be slow doesn't mean your car gets faster. Your car goes right. as fast as it goes. That's just the reality of what it is. So don't move the goalposts on that. Like. I think people are looking at the wrong comp here. If you want a real comp for the Atlanta Falcons and what comparatively could have been, you need to look at the Houston Texans, who were generally regarded by most people as probably going to be a bottom 10, if not bottom five team in the league this year. What happened? They drafted C.J. Stroud. Hey, turns out that kid's pretty good. You know what happens when you have a decent quarterback and an above average quarterback? You win more than you lose. 